Hello and happy Tuesday training. Jackie is here. We are live, 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 live. So I'm going to give it just a second. Let um, those notifications hit out. Um, oh my goodness, y'all. It's going to be May. It's already May. It's already May. And I don't know about you guys, but I am already excited about this month. Um, we had some really exciting stuff that came out at the end of month. Um, so that gives me some stuff to play on for next month too, right? So I'm able to really, one of the, well, let me rephrase this. One of the things that I love about end of month is that it almost is helping me to create that roadmap for my business that I need. So I work my business with intention. Okay, intention is is one of my absolute favorite words, uh, but doing it with intention, right? So when I'm working with intention, I'm looking on what are the things that I want to improve on? What are things that I need to personally improve on, right? We're, we all have things that we need to be constantly doing and growing ourselves. Um, but getting that end of month knowledge like that we got on end of month, April 30th. Um, if you didn't watch it live with us, make sure, you know, mark your calendar for, for well, it'll be May 31st. Um, and watch the live watch party with us. Um, you'll get links. I will make sure to send those out. So um, I'd love to have you guys on because it's really fun for us to kind of watch together. I mean, virtually, obviously, but watch together and be able to talk about everything afterwards. It's, I, I love, I love hearing about it. Um, but being able to really take that information and then, like I said, put it into my road roadmap of how am I going to work my business this month? What am I going to focus on? Where are the things that I'm needing to really, you know, make sure get done? Um, so today I'm going to talk about social selling more specifically though. I really want to focus in on Scentsy Club because I want you guys to be, first of all, more confident in getting active every single month. Remember, active status means a minimum of 200 PRV in, in a month, right? So to be active for the month of May, that means that you need at least 200 PRV and that gets you active. Now, getting active is just the first step of many throughout the month, right? If you get to the point to where you start getting active consistently, you will find that this is going to create really great habits for your business. It's going to help to build your circle, build your ability to find new customers and always be having conversations. So I want you to really focus every single month on getting to the point to where you're getting active. Like I said, that is the first step every single month because no matter, uh, you, I want to just take titles completely off the table. Don't think about a title. Don't think about how long somebody's been in Sensi. None of that matters. Every single Sensi consultant starts out every single month with zero PRV, zero new team members, and zero team wholesale volume or group wholesale volume zeros across the board. So just because I'm a star director doesn't mean that I have the magical ability to just get active every month, right? I have to be intentional with what I'm doing in my business to make sure that I'm getting active. And then after that, I want to make sure that I get paid a title. So the thing that I can control in getting paid a title is to have a minimum of 500 PRV every single month, right? Now, if I also want to really increase my paycheck, then if I hit 2000 PRV in one month, I earn the monthly sales award. That gives me an extra 5% commission on my paycheck. That means if you have a $2,000, or I'm sorry, 2000 PRV month, 2000, you automatically 
earn a $600 paycheck. That's without having a team. That's without sponsoring anyone new. That's without doing anything extra, right? Straight up sales. Straight up sales. If you sell 2,000 PRV in one month, that gives you a $600 paycheck because that would mean that for one, you would already be certified because certified consultant is 1,000 cumulative PRV, so lifetime PRV, okay? And when you hit certified, you were starting to be paid at 25% commission. So by adding an extra 5%, by earning the monthly sales award, by hitting 2,000 PRV or more, that means you're getting paid 30% commission. That, so 30% of 2,000 PRV is 600. That's, that's a paycheck. Now, ask yourself this. If I were to give you, if anybody were to give you $600 in a month, how would that change your life? Would it allow you to pay bills? Would it allow you to take the family out to dinner? Would it allow you to add it into your savings account? Would it, what would it do? What would $600 a month do for you? And then what if, take that, that one step further and say, what would $600 a month do for me every single month? That's a big deal, right? Now, that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. Like I said, that's without a team. That's without having anyone sponsor, right? Or having your team, you know, working their businesses as well. Because once you promote to the title of lead consultant, that's when the term paid at title comes into play, right? So getting paid at title is for lead consultants and above. And that is what helps you get and earn those generational bonuses, which increases your paychecks, friends. So, I am very excited. I'm going to put this plug in because tomorrow night, tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will put the link here in the group, okay, because this is a training specifically for the Scented Bliss family, which is anyone who has Tracy as their SSD, which here in this group, all of us do. Okay. So that I will put in the group, but that training tomorrow night at, oh, sorry, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 Eastern, we are going to have the amazing, the fantastic, the greatest hype man you'll ever meet, Jason Horwood from Cincy. So he is going to come on and he is going to talk to us and teach us all about the compensation plan. All about the compensation plan. All about the compensation plan. That is how you're going to make your money. And for me, I like to make money because this is my full-time job. This helps me well, not, not helps me. It does. Hashtag income disclosure in the description of this video. Here's the thing, y'all. My Sensi paycheck every single month pays the house payment for me and my family. That is one thing that my husband, my husband has a, a good job. He's got a really good job. Very stable job. He loves his job. It's stressful at times, of course, right? But he works in logistics and that's how it goes. That means that his paychecks then allow us to be able to take care of our other bills, um, to take care of us in general, right? Gas and groceries are not getting any cheaper, but all of those things. Having that ability to be able to bring in enough money to not only take care of the house payment, but other bills and other things is a true blessing to me and my family. Let me tell you that right now. A true blessing. 
Because if I didn't have my Scentsy business, I mean, could my husband's salary take care of the house payment and all of that? Yeah, but we would like be house poor, right? Like what they call house poor, right? Where, yeah, you make just enough, but you know, don't, don't think about going out to dinner. Don't think about going and getting anything extra that, you know, that month. Don't think about um, buying new shoes. Don't, you know, all those extra things, right? That we sometimes need and all the things, right? I would, that would put us in a very tough financial situation. I'd, I'd obviously have to go out to work, out into the world. I would have to people every day. Um, I wouldn't be able to be here when my daughter either got on the bus or off the bus. I wouldn't be able to get any errands run during the day, anything like that. I would probably be stressed out to the max because that's how I was when I had my career working in a cubicle somewhere, which is where I was when I had my career. All the things. I would have to go back out there and do all of that. And when I needed time off, have to ask for time off and hope that it gets approved. Or if I'm not feeling well that day and having a flare day, which I am today. But you know what? I'm able to work while I'm in the middle of a really bad pain flare. Simply because this is my work. So it's a blessing to be able to do this. And I want you guys to be able to really see and understand where I'm coming from. Because I'm not just somebody who is out here preaching, saying, oh, you can do it. You got this, right? Without even knowing that you can. Because I know you can because I do it every single month. And I am nobody special. Trust me. I am not special. I did not join Sensi and know how to make YouTube videos or know how to work social media or know how to do any marketing or know how to create graphics or know how to run a Zoom meeting or any of this that we do or some of us do in our Sensi business every single day. I had to teach myself. I had to put the time in. I had to YouTube trainings from other people and not even just sensitive people, but just like, you know, when I'm trying to learn a new program, whether it's Trello or whether it was um, when I was learning Project Broadcast, all those things, right? Like I had to teach myself. I had to pour into that training aspect so I could learn how to do those things. So you don't have to walk in knowing how to do anything at all. We can help show you how to do all of those things that you need to do. And we can show you the steps and what you need to be doing and those habits you need to be creating to be able to get to the place where you feel more financially stable. However that looks like for your family. And maybe there's some of you out there who you're not in this for the money. Maybe you just like it. Maybe this is just simply something that you do that it's just your happy place. And for the first two, one to two years of my business, that's what it was for me. That's what I called Sensi. It was my happy place. I'd come home after working a crappy shift at the hospital because I worked in the ER back in those days. And I would come home and be exhausted. Um, and then I would be like, oh, I'm going to sit down and do some Sensi work. And it truly was something that I looked forward to. I want you guys to understand the freedom that this business opportunity can give to you. Is it easy? No. Is it going to take hard work and dedication? Yes. Is it going to take you just being consistent and showing up? Yes. But can you do those things? Yes, you can. Even if you're somebody who is sitting there saying, I'm too busy. I've got young kids. Um, I don't know how to do this. Okay. Hi. I have two kids. Or no. <laughs> I actually have, I have three kids. <laughs> I have three children. I don't know why I just said two. <laughs> Maybe because I consider my oldest who she's uh 24. She is pregnant with my first grandbaby. So I am floating on the I'm going to have a grandbaby. Uh, cloud right now, but uh, because I I consider her an adult, right? She's like she's she's an adult. Let's be real. Anyway, I have I have kids. I worked a full time job. In the beginning of my business, I was working twelve hour shifts in the ER overnights. 
takes a special breed of person to work that shift. Let me just tell you that, that right here and now. And then after that, uh, I moved into, I'd gone back to college, put myself back through college while working, while working that 40 plus hour or well, 36 hour a week, I guess for my 12 hour shifts plus overtime because hello, overtime paid a lot of bills. <sighs> I had to show up and sign up for overtime back in those days because I needed the money. Now it sucked because yeah, I still had, you know, a three-year-old daughter at home. And then when I came home, well, my husband would then, we work split shifts. I worked at night, he worked during the day. So he would go to work and I would be either trying to get some sleep and taking care of Madison and doing all the things and then not really feeling like he even had a day off, right? At the end of the day. It was hard stuff. So don't tell me that it's because you have kids that you can't do this. Because you can look back through my my YouTube videos in the beginning. Because when I started my YouTube in 2013, um, it, they were awful. They were not perfect. Again, remember, I didn't know how to do any of that. I had to YouTube. How to YouTube? I had no idea. Uh, but you will see, if you even watch any of them, how horrible the lighting was. I didn't have anything to hold my phone up. It was literally just propped up against something, right? And nine times out of ten, it was either done after I put Madison to bed because her bedtime was nine o'clock. And so at nine o'clock, she went to bed. I would wait for her to go, well, give her like 30 minutes, you know, to kind of settle herself down, go to sleep. And then I would stay up late to be able to do any of my work to either make videos to help my team or run those reports and do all the things that we do in our business if we're working at it intentionally and to be successful in this business. Not fun times, not ideal, but I did it because I knew that that's what I wanted to do. So yeah, having kids is not an excuse. It's not a reason for you to not work your business. I have done plenty of videos with Madison when she was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Heck now she comes in and she uh, last month did her own video of unboxing the Scentsy Club. She's literally grown up in Scentsy. She's literally grown up on my YouTube channel. And you'll see in, in some, a lot of the videos that she's in, she's either climbing on top of me or when she was you know, a little bit bigger. She was, you know, going all around me, trying to be in the shot, be in the camera. She always thought it was exciting to see herself in the camera, right? All those things. And then I still had to cook dinner and I still had to run all the errands. And then I had, you know, my older kids now were, were less older and taking them back and forth and getting to spend time with them and tr sharing that time with my ex-husband with them, right? It, like all the things. So yeah, it, it was a little bit of a, I got to figure this thing out, but it was all because I knew I could make something with this business and I knew, and I knew, and I knew that we needed the extra income. Plain and simple, we needed the extra income at that time. Because at that time I wasn't, I wasn't quite even making the salary that I was when I left. I was still hourly. My husband wasn't making that great of money. He was still starting out and working in the warehouses, on the docks, right? Like doing all the things in the cold, in the heat, in all the temperatures. So it's not easy. But just because it's not easy doesn't mean that it's not worth it. And it is worth it. Now, how did I do all of that and how did I build a team and how did I get to where I am today? I will tell you right here and now, if you haven't heard it from me before, you're hearing it today, it was through social media. Because for one, I didn't have the ability to go out and do home parties. Hello, busy. I could have used that as an excuse, right? Negative. Negative. No excuses here. I don't give excuses. I don't. Because I don't need to prove myself to anybody. All I'm doing is working for me and my family. That's who I'm answering to. So do I give myself my own excuse? Jackie, you can't do this right now. You're busy. Jackie, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that, that training for the team today. You're in a pain flare. That hurts really bad. I could sit here and do that all day long. All week long. All month long. But I don't. 
because this business means so much to me. And I know how much it can be and mean to you as well. So I had to really figure out social media. Yeah, that, that took me doing my homework, right? I figured out how to do some things. And let me tell you right now, I don't want you guys to feel ever, and those of you who are newer or, or newly reinstated, I don't want you to think that you need to learn everything all at once overnight. Because you're going to burn yourself out, you're going to stress yourself out, and you're really not going to fully learn everything. Just like, and I used to claim this for years, like I put this on my CV, on my resume, right? I'm excellent at multitasking. Here's the thing about multitasking. While yes, you can do multiple things all at the same time, but your brain cannot give 100% to more than one thing at a time. Yes, you can like, as I, as I, <laughs> and in fact, I just put it in my Instagram stories. Um, how I how I work in my office at least right now because I am personally obsessed with the Johnny Depp trial. Justice for Johnny Depp. Okay, uh, but so I like I have my my iPad here so I can listen to the trial as I'm working, and then over here I've got the stuff for the house because I've got some paperwork and stuff that I have to do. My husband bought me a car. I I, I got to send off paperwork, um, but I'm able to do those things. But am I really giving 100% to each of those things that I'm doing? No, it's not possible, okay? So I don't want you to try and multitask by learning multiple things at one time. Focus on one thing that you want to put your intention in and give it 100% of your time and your focus until you get it. And then once you get to that point to where you're like, okay, I, I pretty much understand Trello now, or I pretty much understand the workstation now, or I pretty much, you know, whatever. Great. Let me, let me try something new. Now let me turn my hand at Canva and then pour into working on learning things about Canva. Look up some YouTube videos, search here in the group, use the search bar at the top of the group. Or if you're in the Scented Bliss group, use the search bar at the top of the group. Type in the things that you're wanting to learn. You want to learn about reports. Do you want to learn about social media? Do you want to learn about Facebook parties? Do you want to learn about Canva? Do you want to learn about Visly? Whatever it is, use the search bar. It's going to help you determine and find those things that you want to learn about. Now, social media, this is where it can get a little muddy. And this is why I call it social selling. And I know many others do as well. I didn't invent it, but social media for me, I knew was going to have to be the thing that was going to get my business moving. So I put intention behind everything that I was learning about social media. So I found and I would look up people on Instagram who were, you know, experts or, you know, were teaching you things or showing tips, things like that. I'm not even talking sensey people necessarily, right? I'm just talking in general, right? Other people use social media as well, not just sensey consultants, okay? Or I would YouTube, you know, how to do, re when Reels was first coming out, I will tell you, I, I watched videos on how people made a Reel. And I learned little tips and tricks along the way. And then I learned by just literally doing it, making Reels and pushing the buttons. Oh, if I put this on there, if I do the hands-free, that means I don't have to come up to the camera and push it and then do whatever it is that I'm going to do in my Reel. You can actually set the timer and then stand back and get ready. And then it's seamless. There's little tips that you're going to learn along the way, but you're only going to learn that by actually doing it and by using intention to actually pour time into learning how to do that. Right. And it doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm going to take a nine week course on Instagram. No, you're not. You don't need that. You don't have to be perfect at it to do it either. Hello, look at my early YouTube videos. Look at these videos now. Not perfection, okay? Not perfection. 
In fact, most of the videos now I do are not even edited. I used to spend, I used to spend a lot of time. Like every video I did, I made sure I edited it and I put in those things and I did, took the time to do it all and then uploaded it to YouTube and then, you know, all the things that, that kind of goes into all that. And then I started to kind of sit back at some point and I was just like, I need to make this, why am I overcomplicating this for myself? It doesn't have to be perfect, Jackie. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to be intentional and be willing to learn. That's what it really takes. The willingness and the intention and the commitment to yourself to get better. So social selling is truly utilizing social media to share and influence the things and the people who are following you. The things that are following you, that didn't make sense. See, editing would have worked really well right there. Anyway, um, so what I am trying to do is, and, and what I want to encourage you guys is this. This is why direct sales gets a bad rap. Because we have people who will do the hey girl hey. Okay, we all know what that is, right? Okay, the hey girl hey. We have to be able to build relationships with people. And you can do that on social media. That's the whole point of why we call it social media. Okay, the whole intent of Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and all the things is to be social, is to create connections. Now, do you, you as a person, do you just want to see flyers for things to buy? Is that why you go on social media? Probably not, right? Probably not. What you need to do is when you are on your social media, you need to focus on the things of what can I share that will provide or give value to the people who are watching it. So this video, for instance, it will go up on my YouTube channel, right? So the intention, the value is me sharing how I use social selling and the tips that I have around that, and Sensi Club, right? How to market that out there. One of the ways that I'm able to do that, so that's adding value to um, other consultants, to you guys, right? And to other consultants out there. Because I live by, I give more than I take. So that's why I'm constantly doing videos because I'm constantly wanting to help other consultants, not just even in Sensi. I have friends and I have network relationships with people who are not even Sensi consultants. They may run just a small business. They may do t-shirts. They may actually work like as a social media influencer, right? They're just people that I can network with. So it doesn't all have to be Sensi. But Here's the thing, you guys, you cannot get on your social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram or Pinterest or Twitter or wherever, and just post flyers all day long because in the end, all that does is look spammy, it looks desperate, and it really, truly is not being authentic, right? Because do you just want to see posts on your Facebook of, you know, buy this today, only $4.99, Click on my site to go order this. Do you want that? No. Are you like, hmm, I've always thought about trying Coke. Huh, I do need, you know, I'm, I'm tired of drinking Pepsi. Maybe I want to try some Coke. You're not going to do that from some flyer you see. And you're not going to do that because somebody posted and said, do you want to buy this? No. That's not how it works. So social selling really needs to be giving value and how you can give value to your customers 
So when you're looking at giving value to customers, it is all about how can this product help them? How can this product either make their life better or how can it solve a problem for them? Now, I get the whiff box every single month. I get the whiff box. I love the whiff box. I think it's an absolute fantastic value for the money. And here's the thing. When I am social selling, when I am talking about the whiff box, I always will mention Scentsy Club. Why is that? Because Scentsy Club, if you have or if your customer has a minimum of $30 in a Scentsy Club, whether it's coming every month, whether it comes every other month, whether it comes every third month, because you and customers, you get to choose how often you get the things, right? That's how it works. And so every single month, there's a new theme. So I get this, the whiff box through my Scentsy Club because at the $30 price point, US, they instantly, and we instantly, get 10% off, which makes it $27 in US, okay? $27 just by having this in a Scentsy Club. Now, can they go on my site and order it too for a full price for 30? Sure. But are there other ways that they can get it cheaper? Yes. One, by adding it to Scentsy Club, they'll instantly save 10%. It'll make the price $27. Or if they have a minimum of $60 in their Scentsy Club and then they add a whiff box, or when they hit $60 in their Scentsy Club, it gives them the option to choose from anything available for Scentsy Club to get something at half price, 50% off. So do you know what a lot of my customers do with that 50% off item? Whiff box. They just are getting the whiff box for only $15. Well, actually, maybe a little bit less with that 10% in there too. <laughs> Math hurts my head. Okay? Okay. That's how I'm able to give value by giving my customers a way to save money. Plus they get the rewards program, okay? The rewards points. So they get one point for every $1 they spend in their Sensi Club when their subscription runs. Now, if they use their link, which they get a link, we don't as consultants. So you cannot see this. So don't automatically log into your Sensi Club and be like, Jackie, I'm sending me messages. Jackie, I don't understand. Where is it at? Okay. Consultants are the only ones who cannot do this because it would just make it unfair, plain and simple. But customers have the ability to share, they get a shareable link or an affiliate link or whatever you want to call it, right? It is their link. And what it does is they can then share that with their friends, their followers, their family members, their, their people that they make relationships with on Facebook or Instagram or social media in general. And every time that somebody signs up, for a Scentsy Club using their link, they earn two points for every $1 that those people are spending when their club subscription runs. So our customers are getting points when they purchase and they're able to earn points when they share their link. Those points they're able to trade in for either a future Scentsy Club so they can get even more money off on their Scentsy Club order or or they can actually use those points, go to my website, log into their account, and they'll be able to get money off of purchases through my link, through, through my website for whatever it is. Now, is that value for a customer? Heck yes, it is. Our customers don't know this unless we're sharing this. And you have to be sharing it. So, one of the ways that I do social selling is whenever a box arrives, I open it and I will either go live or I will do a video and then I will upload it and I, or I'll share it on Facebook, whatever. If you feel more comfortable just doing a really quick live, do a really quick live. It doesn't have to be a full-on video, right? But just start sharing. When you get an order, open it and share it. Share what you love about it. So every month, I do an unboxing of the Whiff Box. Every month, I do an unboxing of um, this is what I got in my Scentsy Club this month. 
every month I do an unboxing when my scent and warmer of the month arrives and because I subscribe to that consultant perk, right? Excuse me, my Coca-Cola. I drank it too quickly. <sighs> so social selling is all about being social and sharing the things that you love. So one of the ways that I did that last month, and you can, if you're curious, you can go back to my YouTube channel. It's there. It's in the uh, Scentsy Club unboxing or whatever I named the video, right? And I went through and I told him what was in the box. This was last month, of course, right? It was more of like a relaxation theme. So all the things, right? Went through all the things, showed him all the things, told him what I thought about the fragrances, what do I love the most, why did they want, or why did they need to get this box, right? All the things. And that's all you have to do when it comes to social social selling is to just simply share. Share, share, share. People are looking at you as a Scentsy Consultant to tell them what are the good scents, right? Right? I don't know about you guys, but when we go out to eat to maybe a new restaurant or whatever, um, or if we're sitting at the bar, maybe we want to have a drink, I will usually sit down or, or whatever, when, whatever situation we're in. And if it's the first time that I've ever been there, or maybe I'm just feeling something, I'll be like, I'll, I will straight up ask the waiter or the bartender or the waitress, whatever, and ask them, what do you recommend? Or what's your favorite drink? Have you ever done that? Have you ever asked anybody that when you like go out to dinner at a new place? I do. I do it a lot. Why? Because I'm looking at the people who work there to have an idea on what the good things are, right? <laughs> and on, at some places, there's like things that are off the menu, right? Like at Starbucks, for example, right? You can, uh, that's how I, I originally started getting the pink drink when it very first came out. I had seen some random um, Instagram and somebody had shared, oh my gosh, this drink is amazing that I got at Starbucks, but you have to ask for it because it's not on the menu, right? And so I was like, oh my gosh, I totally have to do this. So what did I do? I went the next time we were out and about running errands, we stopped at Starbucks and yes, for sure. I didn't see pink drink on the menu. And I remember saying, do you guys have a pink drink by chance? And of course the barista was like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And I was like, can you tell me about it? Can you describe it for me? So I'm asking them, right? Because they're the ones who are going to be able to tell me. That's what your customers are looking to you for. So when you're thinking about, oh, I don't know what to post or, oh, I don't really know about social selling or I don't, I don't get Sensi Club, so I can't do that. Um, I, I, whatever. Again, excuses. Excuses. Do you have any Sensi in your house? It doesn't matter. It can be, um, I'm sitting here looking around like, what do I have that's sensey? Um, you know, it could be, it could be a bar. I, you got a bar. You have one bar. I don't care if it's a current bar. Maybe it's an old bar. But maybe you want to talk about it and go on and be like, yeah, this is why I love this scent. Mm, it reminds me of going to um, my grandma's house and when she would bake um, strawberry pie or whatever, right? Like, those are the things that you need to be sharing. Because that's what social selling is. Again, people don't want to just read the menu, right? They want to get to know you. They want to hear what you're warming. They want to hear what you love about Scentsy. They want to know what the popular scents are. They want to know what's the cool thing about Scentsy. Or, hey, I hear you guys have diffusers, right? Those are the things they want to know about. So those are the things you need to be sharing. Now, if you want to really get intentional with your business, then you need to really be sharing and talking more about Scentsy Club. Because what Scentsy Club is going to do for you is it's going to give you reoccurring PRV. Let me tell you right now, my goal, my goal by the end of 2022 is to have a minimum of 1,000 PRV in Scentsy Club orders every single month. I want at least 1,000 PRV coming just from Scentsy Club every single month. Now, just because I want that, what do I have to do? I have to put in the time, the energy, the work, and I gotta be sharing. 
and sharing on social media is how you're going to be able to do that. And the only way you're going to be able to get people to decide that it's time to sign up for Sensi Club because, duh, it's the best way to get it and save money. But also because it's a really great way for you to make connections with your customers. It gives you a reason to reach out. If you're not quite comfortable yet on camera, then you know what, by all means, don't put your face on the camera. Prop it up, if you've got a phone holder, great, whatever, and then prop it up to where you're just showing the product. In fact, that's what I did with the uh, with box that I did for April. On my YouTube, you could look at it there. I'm not in that video at all. See my hands, that's it. Okay, so don't give me the excuse that I'm not comfortable doing a video or I, I, I don't know how, yeah, you do. You've got a phone, you got a phone and you have a way to record things, so record them and then share them or go live on Facebook. You'll boost your algorithm. If you ask Miss Cassie Baker, she will tell you right now how to beat that algorithm, how to show up in more people's feeds, and that is simply show up on social media consistently and go live. That's how you're gonna build your audience and your followers. That's it right there. Now, how are you gonna keep them? By being consistent and by giving value every single time. But you guys, Scentsy Club, you have to start being intentional with Scentsy Club. Let me tell you right now. Let me tell you right now. I'm able to right now, I'm right around the 400 PRV mark in Scentsy Club. Those are just Scentsy Club orders every single month. Right at a little bit over 400 every single month. That's 400 PRV that I'm not having to do or host another party to get. So that means everything else that I do is just getting me closer to my goal of PRV. My goal is a minimum of 2,000 PRV every single month. Why? Because that's the best way to get paid. This is the way to do that. Friends, I encourage you. I encourage you, I encourage you, I encourage you. If you want to blow this business up, if you want to build an empire, if you want to make more money, you need to start being intentional. You need to start social selling. You need to start sharing the things about Sensi. And not just in flyers. And not just by putting one post a month up about why you like Sensi. Or look at this warmer I got. I'm sorry, but one post a month is not going to do it. Sometimes it takes saying that out loud and commit to yourself to doing more because you're worth it. You deserve it. And I guarantee you, your family deserves it as well. So figure out why you're doing Sensi. And then what I want you to do is I want you to start working it for those reasons. And if that means writing it down and putting it on a post-it note at wherever, you know, your workspace is, or on the bathroom mirror, or on the refrigerator, or on the car dashboard, whatever, put it there. So every day you're looking at it and you're like, why am I doing this? So I can pay for the house. So I can also take care of those bills. Oh, we wanna pay off that debt. Oh, I got to pay off that credit card this month. Well, I got to put in the work. Because here's the deal. We have no limit on how much we can earn every month. No limit. Again, I don't care if you have a team or not. There's no limit. Because if you can get those sales in, then again, you're going to get paid if and hit monthly sales award by just doing a minimum of 2,000 PRV. If you do anything over that, right, you're still getting 30% of everything over that. So $600 is just the beginning of that. Again, that's without even having team members. But your bonuses are going to kick in. Look at that compensation plan. They're going to kick in after you hit lead and after you start building a team. 
that's when you're going to see the paychecks increasing. That's why we talk about sponsoring. That's why we talk about being consistent. That's why we are constantly saying all of these things because that is what is going to grow your business and give you the most success. And I want every single one of you to have the most success. I want every single one of you to be a director or above because I want every single one of you to be able to sit back and make the choice to say, I'm going to do this Cincy thing full time. Why? Because I can. So, are you making enough money that makes you happy right now? I'm not. So, I'm going to put intention. I'm going to be on my social media. I'm going to show up. I'm going to put my work in every day. And even if that's 30 minutes for you, you only have 30 minutes to work your business, awesome. Spend it intentionally. Pick one thing and focus on it. I'm going to do more live. I'm going to go live this week, whatever it is. Put your intention into that time. Don't sit there twiddling your thumbs when you've got 30 minutes to work your business once a week. Okay. I can tell you from my own experience, I worked my business for three hours a week. I did a whole podcast on it, three hours a week, and how I was able to just be intentional with that time and build my business. You can do this. I am nobody special. I love you. I am so, so, so excited for the things that we have going in May. Do not miss tomorrow night's training with Jason Harwood, where he is going to go over all of the compensation plan. So I'm going to give you a little bit of homework because tomorrow is that meeting tomorrow night, 730 Central. Again, I'm going to put the link to the meeting in this group. Okay, so you'll have it, but be there. Please be there. Please be there. I'm going to ask you to please be there. Make it happen. Because trust me, when you really get this, when you hear this tomorrow from Jason, it's going to open your eyes. That's what it did for me. That was the moment that I was like, oh, now I know how to work this business. And now I know how to get that money that I need. I got this. So if you've had questions and thought about them and didn't really know how to ask, or maybe you were too nervous to ask, whatever, get those questions ready, write them down. If you're too embarrassed to ask the question, send it to me, send it to me in a text or on messenger, send it to me. I will ask it for you. Okay. I just want you to have all the answers and that's going to be your opportunity. It's going to be fantastic. And you guys, this is going to be a great month. We got a lot happening. So watch the events in this, in this group because I've got some events coming up. If you are a lead consultant or above and you are in the Scent 365 Leadership Lounge, then watch that group as well because I have events scheduled that are going to be um, put out there today. Those events are going to get up today and they are going to be title based. So for if you're a, a uh, sorry, a lead consultant. There's going to be a specific training for all lead consultants. There's going to be a specific one for star consultants. Same thing for superstar consultants. Okay. So watch that leadership lounge group for those trainings in this group. Of course, we have every Tuesday. We also have the other events that happen in bliss. So if you are not a part of the Senate bliss group and want to be again, I will post that link as well. I'll just add it to the bottom of this video in the comment section, okay? I want you guys to really understand that you have the ability to do anything you set your mind out to. And let me tell you right now, you've got the biggest hype person in the world right here cheering you on. So let's do this. And yes, Terry, it will be recorded for replay in case you can't get there. Yes, most certainly, most certainly. But I highly suggest if you can do whatever you need to do, if you need to move something a little, if you need to squish dinner, whatever, if you need to push dinner a little bit, try and do that. Because honestly, being to be able to be on in real time and ask those questions in real time, because he may start talking about something that you hadn't even even thought of or knew about or realized, and that may spark a question for you. So that's that's one of the reasons why I would encourage to be on 
live if you can. But of course, you know, I know that there, there are things that come up that you just can't. So that's okay. But definitely make sure to watch that replay because it's going to be worth it, y'all. All right. So that's what I got for you this Tuesday. Um, I got more stuff. We got shout outs coming out today. It is shout out Tuesday. So uh, watch those emails. I'm also prepping uh, my team. So if I am your director slash star director slash sponsor, um, then my team happy mail will be going out. I also do some group mail, uh, but that is for a smaller number of people. So because if I could send happy mail to every single person every single month, I certainly would. But over 400 pieces of mail would be very pricey for Jackie. So I'm not, I'm not able to do that for everybody, but I want to definitely recognize those who are putting in the effort every single month and hitting those goals every single month. So, um, I know, Terry, I'm so excited. I was getting ready. In fact, I've got the email pulled up. Um, congratulations on your new team member. Like I said, I saw that uh, just a little bit ago, so I started putting the email out. So you'll get copied on that email um, to your new team member to welcome them. I'm so excited for you. I am so excited for you. You are on a great journey right now, and I cannot wait to see where you take this because it's you, you, I see big things for you. I just really do. I really do. So, all right, guys, I will talk to y'all soon. And hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow night too for the training 730 central. I know I'll bump it in the comments. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.